Everman Athletics is proud to announce our inaugural class for the Everman Athletics Hall of Honor. This has been years coming, and every year we plan to grow. Please watch social media for nomination forms in the future. Tonight, we are honored to recognize seven people, a team and a community contributor who throughout their work have contributed to the success of Everman Athletics. We set the bar high with this first class and are looking forward to the future. We will begin with Mr. Ellis Burks. Ellis Burks graduated from Everman in 1983. He played baseball for the Bulldogs. While in high school, he was all district, all county, all region, and all state. He went on to play college baseball at Ranger Junior College. While at Ranger, he led the team to the finals of the NJCAA tournament before falling to McLennan College in the championship game. By the time his days at Ranger were over, Birch was one of the nation's most sought after recruits. He was drafted in the first round by the Boston Red Sox in 1983 and got called up for the minors in 1987, beginning an 18-year career that vaulted him into the record books. In his rookie season, he became the third player in Red Sox history to hit 20 home runs and steal 20 bases in one season. He was selected to both the Baseball Digest and tops all rookie teams. In 1990, he became the first Red Sox player since 1928 to hit two home runs in one inning. He joined the Colorado Rockies in 1994, taking his place among a lineup of sluggers known as the Blake Street Bombers. In 1996, he led the National League in runs, 142. Slugging percentage, 639. Total bases, 392. Extra base hits, 93. He was second in hits, 211. Doubles with 45. And his 344 batting average was second to Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn's 353. In his 18-year career, Birch batted 291 with 352 home runs, 1,206 RBI, 1,253 runs scored, 2,107 hits, 402 doubles, 63 triples, and 181 stolen bases in 2,000 games. Defensively, Birch recorded a 983 fielding percentage at all three outfield positions. Ranger College's baseball stadium, Ellis Burks and Family Field, is named in his honor. Ellis Burks could not be with us tonight. He is currently a baseball broadcaster for New England Sports Network, where he's a studio analyst and is working the best part of the baseball season, Mr. Ellis Burks. Next is Dale Keeling. Coach Keeling began his career in 1983 in Spur, Texas. He became a Bulldog in 1998 and led us for 20 years with a 184 60 and 69 record. When he started, we were in the old field house, now the soccer locker rooms, an unair conditioned weight room, now the training room, and a grass field. He led us to three state semifinal games and two state championships. In 2001, he was named the 3A coach of the year. Then he got us some turf to play on. And in 2009, we built the Dale Keeling Fieldhouse. To quote a former player, these words don't seem adequate. Thank you for making winning football games an expected tradition at Everman. Thank you for teaching us that we can be great together. Thank you for leading us two years in a row to be the greatest in the state of Texas and for striving every season for 18 years to try and reach that mark. Thank you for teaching us that mediocrity is not good enough, for seeing the best in us and working every day to bring that out. Thank you, Coach Keeling, for 20 years at Everman and for all your years spent making kids' lives better. Dale Keeling. <laughs> Carrie Roberson. Carrie Roberson graduated in 1996. She played volleyball, basketball, and softball for the Bulldogs. In high school, she was an 11-time All-District, seven-time All-Region, and five-time All-State player. In college, in 2000-2001, she was ranked ninth in the NCAA Division III for three-point field goal percentage and three-point field goals made. She was all-conference in all three sports. Her favorite memories are... In high school, I will never forget the softball team going to the playoffs as the first softball team to do so. And in college, my first year playing, 
basketball, we went to the NAIA Division II National Championship game. We didn't win it, but it was a Cinderella story for both teams. UMHB bid out the number one seeded hometown team in the second round and went on as a crowd favorite. I had struggled the first few games, but in the semifinal game, I came out and scored six three-pointers in the first half, tying a record for the most threes in a game. The best part of sports for me was not just the competition, but the bonds I shared with each teammate along the way. Kerry Roberson. <laughs> Mr. Kevin Robinson. Kevin graduated in 1984. He was a track and field athlete. In high school, he had multiple district, regional, and state championships. He is a two-time state champion in the 400 meters and set a school record and a state record at 45.8. He ran in college at SMU and then Tarleton, where he graduated. He was a 10-time All-American in the 4x100 relay, the 4x400 relay, and the 400-meter run. He ran professionally for the USA track and field, and Kevin ran on the 1988 Olympic champion 4x400 meter relay in Seoul, South Korea. His favorite track memory is walking into the stadium in Seoul, South Korea, and listening to the roar of the crowd when Team USA was announced. And then standing on the podium as the national anthem played when he was a gold medalist, Mr. Kevin Robinson. Lucretia Sibley Whiteside. Lucretia graduated from Everland in 2001. She ran track in high school. She was a 10-time district champion and a five-time regional champion in the 4x1, the 4x4, and the 400-meter run, and a four-time state champion. She is still the school and 3A state record holder in the 400-meter run. She went on to run at Texas Tech University, where she was a Big 12 indoor champion and a Texas Tech record holder, all Big 12 and all American in 12 indoor and outdoor. NCAA indoor and outdoor national championship qualifier 12 times. In 2004, she was an Olympic trails qualifier. She was USA track and field professional athlete and made the USA team in 2006, going to the internationals in Birmingham, England. Her favorite memories were going to the state, to state my freshman year and not doing as well as I wanted to do. I remember saying, I'm going to win it next year, and I did. And being a state champion on your own is great, but it's even better when you make history and win it as a team. My senior year, the 2001 Lady Dogs track and field team won the 3A state meet title, making us the first and still only girls team to win a state title. Lucretia Sibley Whiteside. <laughs> Coach Charlie Stewart. Coach Stewart coached in Everman for 26 years. All those years he was the defensive coordinator and for 15 years he was the head track coach. In football, he was the 2002 Nike Coach of the Year Clinic Award Assistant Coach of the Year in 2001 and 2002 State 3A football champs. In track, he won 11 district championships. He was 1984 4A state runner-up and was 1995 4A state champion in Fort Worth Star-Telegram and Dallas Morning News Track Coach of the Year. His most memorable events were the 1995 state 4A track champions, the 2001 and 2002 state 3A football champions, and in 1984 beating Brownwood in Brownwood. And in 1995, beating number one straight state ranked South Lake Carroll in the bi district playoffs, where the Bulldog defense destroyed SL SLC 32 to 6. Coach would be so humbled and appreciative of this honor. His exact words would be, just doing my job. Matthew 25, 23, well done, good and faithful servant. Thank you from his family. Once a Bulldog. Always a Bulldog, Coach Charlie Stewart. Baron Wortham. Baron graduated in 1989. Played football and track in high school. He was a three-year varsity starter, all Tarrant County sophomore of the year, all district three times, all Tarrant County MVP, three-time regional qualifier, and a state qualifier in the long jump at 23 feet. He went on to play at the University of Texas at El Paso. In college, he was a two-time Sports Illustrated Player of the Month. 
He was Western Athletic Conference Defensive Player of the Year, all-time leader in career tackles, 566, and tackles for loss, 43. He led UTEP in tackles four years. Three-time first-team All-Western Conference selection, first-team All-American sports writers. In 2014, he was named to the University of Texas El Paso Centennial Football Team. In 2018, he was inducted into the UTEP Athletic Hall of Fame. He was a sixth round draft pick of the Houston Oilers. In 1996, he became a starter at middle linebacker. In 1999, he helped the Tennessee Titans reach Super Bowl 34. He was on the AFC Football Conference Champions, and in 2000, he played for the Dallas Cowboys. His best memories are being married to his high school sweetheart, Caligra, class of 1990, for 27 years. They have three wonderful children, Baron M. Wortham, Kalia, and Noah, beating Brewer High School 13-7 in front of a capacity crowd at J.E. Marr Stadium in the Texas Game of the Week. His sophomore year is his favorite memory. And placing second in the state in long jump his senior year as well. Baron Wortham, ladies and gentlemen. And now the 2001 football Class A 3 state, 3A state champion football team. In 2000, Everett would drop from 4A to 3A and were the preseason ranked number two. Expectations were high. In the 2000 state semifinals, we lost to Abilene Wiley 21 to 13 and ended the year 12 and 2. Our other loss was early to Waco, Waco Robinson. Going into the all season, all the players talked about was unfinished business. In the weight room, on the field, everywhere, all they talked about was unfinished business. The Robinson game in 2001 was their statement game. They won it 74 to nothing, avenging last year's loss. After going 7-0 in district, they wanted to dominate the playoffs. We beat Gainesville and got ready to play Forney, setting up a number one versus number two in the state matchup. A sellout crowd saw people standing on the sidelines and around the end zones, three and four people deep, watching two great teams slug it out. We won 21 to 17. We went on to beat Pleasant Grove 42 to nothing, and then faced Perryton in the north, in north at North Texas Stadium in below freezing temperatures for the state semifinals. The game that ended our 2000 season. We beat them 36 to six and moved on. The state championship game was in College Station at Kyle Field. They had waited a whole year for this game and they dominated. Rushing for over 230 yards and only giving up 111 total yards on defense. We won 25 to 14 and finished the season 15 and 0. This is our first state championship in football and several players from this team went on to play in college and two coaches were just inducted into the Hall of Honor today. The 2000 and one football Everman Bulldogs. <laughs> J&B Trophy operated from 1982 to 2016 and proudly provided athletic awards for all our Bulldogs. We served in the Booster Club for six years, selling ads for the football program and working concessions. We started the inaugural concession stand for girls volleyball and basketball in 1995. We would heat the chili and cheese and crock pots at the shop, and one of us would leave work two hours early to get the stand open. We worked at every girls game in 95, 96, and worked in boys and girls games for several more years. We worked the press box for many years at Everman Track Relays, totaling points, team scores, and distributing the awards. We have attended games, along with our cowbells, since 1991 cheering the Bulldogs on by traveling north to Lawton, Oklahoma, and Canton, Texas, to, and east to Canyon, Texas, Canyon, Texas, west to Midland, Odessa, east to Van, and south to San Antonio, and all the places in between. Those are special moments. Being there in person to watch two football state championships and one basketball championship is the, was the most special. J&B Trophy, ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 Everman Hall of Fame inductees!
your 2023 UIL show entitled Ritual by Randall Standridge with soloist Kenya Vasquez, Deshaun James, Gael Pizana, and Angelina Martinez. The directors of the Everman Band are Shane Johnson, William Hildreth, Mark Fowler, Matt Olmstead, Tyler Heltzel, and color guard director Gary Lott. of drum major Christopher Barron and Chance Manuel.
and gentlemen, the Everman Bulldog Band. Ladies and gentlemen, we prepare for the second half of football.